vampire bats. Vampire bats, we are all set up to be creeped out by vampire bats, but in actuality, when you see a vampire bat drinking the blood of some cow or something, you are watching a, a mommy getting food for her babies because vampire bat mothers are not actually drinking the blood. They're filling up this throat sac thing, and they go back to the nest, and they disgorge the blood to feed their babies. She's just watching out for her kids. It happens that vampire bats have an interesting system of reciprocal altruism, which is a whole bunch of females will share the same nest will have all their kids and they're mixed in, and these are not necessarily related, so we've just left the world of kin selection. They're not necessarily related, but they have a reciprocal altruist system. Each female comes in, disgorges the blood, and feeds everybody's babies. And they all feed each other's babies, and everything is terrific, and they have this blood vampire commune going there, and they have reached a nice state of stable cooperation. Now, make the bats think that one of the females is cheating on them. Out comes that female flying off to find some blood, and instead you net her and get a hold of her and take some syringe full of air and pump up the throat sac so the throat sac is really full and distended, but there's no blood in there. You've just pumped air into there and stick her back into the nest there, and she's just sitting there happily. And the other females are sitting saying, look at her. Look at how much blood she's got there. I can't believe it because she's not feeding our kids. She's cheating on us, and the next time they go out to feed, the other females don't feed her kids. A tit for tat. And what you saw here is an exact example of introducing signal error, signal error in this case being some grad student pumping up the throat of some vampire bat and showing that they're using a version of a tit-for-tat strategy.